Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for December 11th to the 18th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you, my little Virgi Virgis. All right, we got the Two of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Judgment card, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the King of Wands. Okay, let me pull out uh, more cards here and we'll dive into your reading in just a minute. Balance, excuse me. Uh, balance card says, I bring a perfect state of harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Feels very uh, Libra to me. I would take a peek and see where Libra is. I'm going to organize the cards in just a minute. I just want to get everything out first. You even got Sana as your amulet. Sana is an amulet that's connected to a heart chakra healing. It's got a, a, a green adventurine, a morganite, and rose quartz. Lunar eclipse breakthrough, pushing limitations, healing. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is Sana. This is all about healing this heart chakra. Look, Virgis. The Two of Swords is a card of stalemate. It's a card of not knowing the direction to take. Uh, it also, um, you know, um, connected to Libra. It's the lower octave of Libra, if we were to give it a title, where we are choosing not to see things or choosing not to make a decision, right? It's an active choice of denial or ignoring or not knowing what direction to take. And that's because you don't have everything available to you this week. This week, you're not going to be able to make any decisions because you don't have all the answers. You don't have them just yet. You have to wait until the end of this week or the beginning of next week for the answers to be made available to you. It's also really important for you this week to not get distracted. Like I feel very distracted in this reading right now. My hair is bothering me. My nose is itchy. My chest, like I'm, I'm finding myself kind of like, I don't want to say the word irritated, but I'm finding myself get annoyed by the distractions. Um, and I'm wondering if you're becoming hypercritical or hyper judgmental about yourself because of the distractions that are around you and also all the stuff that you need to get done like the things in your life the day to day maybe you're in this place where you're like I just want to focus on I don't know my career but you can't because you have all these other things going on in your life I want you to remember that you're the star keeper it says cosmic ancestors seed the light by staying grounded Virgo, you are an earth sign. You relish and require to stay grounded through planting yourself in the ground. So uh, grounding, putting your bare feet in the ground, working with plants, working with clay, working with your hands, anything to do with the earthly materials, okay? Then we got lunar eclipse, releasing the past, breakthrough, pushing limitations, and healing, okay? What I'm seeing is this week, this stillness or this inability to make a decision comes from needing to rest more, needing to retreat more, needing to honor your vessel more, needing to just chill out. You get what I'm saying? Just relax, just relax. Everything is gonna be a-okay, baby, okay? With this four of swords and this eight of pentacles, five of pentacles, I feel like you've been, oh, I almost wanna say it. I'm gonna, you know what, Brady Workies? I feel like you and I, we have this relationship, so I can say this to you. You've been literally drowning yourself in work to avoid paying attention to a void. Straight up. You, there's a void happening in your life right now. There's a void that you feel. Maybe it's a void of a relationship, a void of friendship, a void of connection, a void of romance, whatever this void is, because you're not feeling it or you're feeling the void, I should say, you're like, I'm just going to drown myself in work. I'm just going to be a worker, a worker, worker be, I'm just going to burn the midnight oil. I'm just going to be so distracted with all the things that I got to do. So I don't have to deal with this decision I need to make or this work that I need to go through. And it's really interesting because, because <laughs> source is kind of saying, you need to stop that. You need to stop that. You need to focus on this void, this lack, this thing that you feel like you're missing so that you can illuminate 
where the root of this narrative is because the minute that you illuminate the root right like the minute that you're like oh this this fear of a bent this fear of being alone is rooted in a fear of abandonment that i have because when i was little my dad left or my mom left or no one was there for me whatever the story is right it's going to be different for all of you the minute that you like shine a light on it The whole fucking fake narrative explodes, right? The lie is revealed, right? And the minute that you do that, you release the past. You have breakthrough moment, boom. And breakthrough moment leads you to this, my love. Two of cups and the judgment card, okay? So this thing that you've been waiting for, so this thing that you've been feeling like you're left out in the cold about is actually right in front of you, but you just have an illuminated little light on it yet. But you just haven't illuminated a light on it yet. Okay, you gotta illuminate the light, baby, all right? The minute that you illuminate the light, the minute that you answer the call from the universe, the minute that you step into your power, the minute that you listen, the minute that you open yourself up to receiving the highest guidance of all from source consciousness directly into your life, the success that you've been seeking finds you. The king of wands, right? Passion, charisma, more passion more energy, you know that video? There's charisma here, there's passion, there's love, there's excitement, there's drive, there's leadership, there's courage, okay? So don't be afraid of dealing with whatever is happening in your life to create more harmony. Instead of being an inaction, create that harmony. Do so with a perfect with a perfect place of balance. Um, and then from there, right, the judgment here, judgment here, judgment here, the, the gods, the universe, the heavens will open up a path for you, okay? We have deception. We have healing family issues, and we have true love. With deception, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Right. So where are you potentially lying to yourself? Where are you potentially king of pentacles? That's you, boo. Um, where are you potentially making up stories, making up narratives, making up these ideas that don't serve you anymore? With the healing family issues and the page of cups, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So what happened to you growing up? What did you witness growing up in romance? What caused you... No. What caused you to... Be how you are. Those are the questions that Source is asking you right now. Like, what did you witness growing up that led you down this path of, like, self-deprecation when it comes to not only your abundance, but your relationships, business and otherwise? Justice, true love. Because Lord Jesus is saying the love that you seek has already found you. You're just too busy looking at the things that you don't have to see what is right in front of you. Justice and true love, babe. Justice and true love. The love you seek has already found you. You got to open up your, your door. You, you got to. You got to step out of that comfort zone. All right, my loves, I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. If you want to book a session with me, pick up your amulet, sign out over at Starseed Jewels, which is my jewelry line, or take any of my courses. They're all in the description box below. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.